So, so for example, like with a toe touch assessment, on a global level, essentially what's happening is the head is moving closer to the ground. So when the head moves closer to the ground, that's, that's more of a threat for the nervous system, okay? So again, essentially what you want to allow to happen is you want the nervous system to be able to trust the capacity of the lower limbs to decelerate the motion of the head, arms, and trunk. The head, arms, and trunk makes up two thirds of your overall body mass. So it's a lot of mass to be going to the ground. So the nervous system doesn't feel safe. It may freeze the range of motion around the midline segment, but it might not be because things don't move well here, maybe because the brain doesn't trust the legs to decelerate the motion hmm. of the hat segment going forward. Because if you think about spine extension, spinal extension takes the spine into a more a closed packed position. Right? When the spine's in more of a closed packed position, there's less dissociation between segments. And when there's less dissociation between segments, it's easier for the brain to control. So a lot of people, when you're, when you're trying to put load into the lower limbs, if they don't feel comfortable putting that load into the lower limb, they may extend their spine very, very early on to make it easier for the nervous system to control that. But if you don't allow for the spine to actually flex, then you're not really getting all the load into the lower limb. Does that make sense? Because when I, when I extend here, my anti-gravity tissues, spinal extensors, are helping to decelerate the mass, not my lower limb. When I allow for a bit more flexion at the spine, then the lower limb is taking most of the pressure because my anti-gravity muscles aren't really helping to keep me upright. So it's a, it's a global association. So you can look at the association locally between forearm, humerus, tibia, femur, but global association is looking at the association between the body regions. So can the midline dissociate from the upper limb? Can the midline dissociate from the lower limb? To allow for the midline to dissociate from the lower limb, we need to allow for the midline to relax the anti-gravity muscles so that the lower limb can take on most of the workload. So if you, if you see a toe touch like this, right, where you, you watch a person going from point A to point B, and as they're moving into flexion, you see this extension of the lumbar spine, right? So that demonstrates a freezing strategy. Because when I'm moving into flexion, if my rib cage can flex, but then as I get to here, my pelvis flexes, then I'm freezing the range of motion by going into extension here. So that gives me an understanding that may, maybe, potentially, the brain doesn't trust the lower limbs to decelerate that motion. Whereas ideally, what we want to see is for the rib cage to be able to flex and then for the, the pelvis to be delayed in its flexion, right? So we will get the rib cage flexion and then this will stay tilted, but then it will begin to anteriorly tilt. But you don't want it to happen too quickly. So it's about the speed of motion that creates the dissociation. This flexes, this stays extended, and then it begins to flex. Because if I, if I keep this posteriorly tilted, I won't be able to get any further than that. Right? But I have to anteriorly tilt the pelvis to get down there. But it's about when, how quickly it happens. Because sometimes you'll have clients that you know, get to here and they can't go any further. And they actually might need more anterior tilting to get further. Okay? So it depends on what the limitations are and, and if you've assessed the entire lower limb as well. So this on its own won't tell you about the entire behavior from distal to proximal but it'll give you an understanding as to how much work we might need to do proximal versus distal. Like we always want to go distal, but it all depends on how much and how slowly we need to go there. Sometimes you need to take baby steps. Sometimes you can go there very quickly. Que lo que